Thank you, thank you. Mercy is good for help. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord, you are good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Always. Thank you, thank you. Again, I say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you glory and honor in this place tonight. Yes, yes. Let your word come alive, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for these that are in the sanctuary tonight. We pray for those that are viewing, those that will soon to come. We give you praise, O oh God, for your word. Your word is alive. Your word is powerful. And Lord, we honor you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, Spirit of the living God, hallelujah. Breathe upon us one more time that we may be refreshed and revived. In the name of Jesus, and Father, we give you praise tonight. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Well, praise God. We give God praise for you tonight. Those of you that are here, those that are watching tonight, praise God. We're going to get right into our lesson, not to hold you long tonight, but let's get into our lesson. We're still talking about discerning the Lord's body. We've been talking about Holy Communion. We've been talking about a man that uh, we believe that it is the body and the blood of Christ. Praise God. Amen. We talked about how that as we partake of it, something happens when we partake of the Lord's table. Hallelujah. And so tonight I want to talk about uh, uh, there are three components that we need to discern when we talk about Holy Communion, when we talk about the Lord's Supper, the Lord's Table, or the Holy Eucharist. There are three components that I want to look at tonight if we get through it on tonight that we need to discern. There always have to be a discerning. When we come to the table, we have to discern the body. We have to discern the blood of the Lord. Praise God. Because if there if there is no discernment, hallelujah, then we really cannot benefit from it. Praise God. And that's why Paul was so adamant when he said, that many lack the discernment of the body and of the blood, and that's why uh, there was some physical problems within the church, hallelujah, because they, there was a failure to discern the body, amen. And so I want us to talk about tonight, amen, three components that we need to discern when we approach Holy Communion, amen, irregardless or regardless, really, to where you are, whether you're at church, whether you are uh, communing in the home, whether you are communing in another setting, there has to be the element of discernment that has to be uh, 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 there when it comes to Holy Communion. Hallelujah. Because so many times that we've mentioned before, that so many times we get to where we just go through the motion of something and we began to lack the discernment or the appreciation of it. And so I want to draw your attention tonight uh, to 1 Corinthians chapter 10 as we go there tonight because I want to talk about the consecration of the elements. I want to talk about, amen, the, the adoration of the sacrifices or the sacraments. And I want to talk about the consumption of the reliquary. Amen. The consumption, consumption of the reliquary, that simply means the consumption of the body and the blood of the Lord. Amen. So in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, the first chapter that we're going to look at tonight, and I want to reiterate this, amen, and I shared this earlier on into our lesson. For the first 1,500 years of the church, the church, amen, took literally that the body or the bread became the body, mm -hmm. and the cup became his blood. Mm -hmm. Amen. But then somewhere uh, uh, after that first 1,500 years, there was a shift in the theology or the, or the understanding or the belief that uh, the body, uh, uh, you know, it's just bread. It's a symbol. It's a symbol. And so we got into where what is called a memorialistic belief to where it's just a memorial, it's just a symbol. 
and we got away from a sacramental belief that it actually becomes the body and the blood. Amen? Amen. And so we want to, and I have taken personally the position that once the, the bread and the, and the cup has been consecrated, I take the position that it becomes the body and the blood. Amen. 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 I take that position. Praise God. Now, I cannot speak for everybody, but I, I want to look at it as a sacramental mm -hmm. uh, uh, component of the table, not just a symbol, not just a symbol, but it actually becomes, hallelujah, the body and the blood. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to share some other scriptures with you tonight and, and to wrap this up next week. But I want to draw your attention to what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 10. Amen. And I want you to look at uh, 1 Corinthians 10. And let me get there. 1 Corinthians 10. Because Paul, he began to talk to the church at Corinth. Now, we know that the church at Corinth... They, they was full of spiritual zeal, spiritual uh, charisma, or charismatic uh, demonstration, but they lacked discernment in certain areas. Hallelujah. And Paul wrote letters to them to get them to fully understand and recognize, primarily as it relates to uh, ho uh, Holy Communion. Now, Paul says this in 1 Corinthians 10 and uh, uh, verse number 14. He says, Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry, speak as to wise men, judge ye what I say. The cup of blessings which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? So here you even see where Paul is trying to get them to understand that as it relates to the elements, as it relates to Holy Communion, that the, uh, something happens to uh, the blood and, and the bread. Hallelujah. He says here, is not the cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ, the bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? Amen. And so we have to discern that and recognize that when we partake of, amen, of a holy communion, that there has to be a transformation, there has to be, amen, a discernment that, that once I partake of it, 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 it no longer becomes, or it, it, it's no longer, rather, just bread and wine. But it becomes to me the body and the blood. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because it's, it's through the body and the blood that we get the blessing. Amen. That we get the benefits from mm -hmm. it. Amen. Yeah, amen. We get the benefits through the uh, bread, excuse me, the body and the, uh, the blood. Amen. There is no benefit that comes out of just bread and wine. Mm. Amen. amen. As it relates to our spiritual blessings. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the Holy Communion is not just physical. But it also is more spiritual. Amen. Amen. Definitely. Amen. Yes. Now, when if you go back over to Exodus, when God instructed Moses to tell the, the children of Israel, get a lamb for the house. Mm -hmm. Now, he didn't have to tell them to get a lamb for the house mm -hmm. because they were hungry. Mm -hmm. mm. Come, Come on. on now. To Come feed on. their flesh. That's right. Come because on. Because they ate yes. everything. That's right. Is that right? They did. But they did. Jesus, uh, excuse me, but God instructed them to get a lamp for the house for God. Something was getting ready to, uh, uh, to take place spiritually. So was. Spiritually, amen, in amen. their life. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. And yeah. he said, take a lamp for the house. The house. Hallelujah. The house. And he told them, 
specifically. Now, if you go back and look there, see, you know, I'm having problems with some of these preachers and some of these brothers uh, that have come against me and folk like me that take positions. Praise God that there is priests and there, amen, there is a priest and, and Moses got what he got from heaven because he, uh, God showed him that what is in heaven should be on earth. Amen. Amen. So he gave he, he gave him the pattern. If you go back and read Exodus, if you go back and read Hebrew, if you go back, to, amen, read some chapters over Revelation. God gave Moses the pattern as it relates to the temple, as it relates to the altar, as it relates to uh, 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 to the uh, the components and the elements of the table. Uh -huh. He got it from heaven. Uh -huh. And so I've been having some problems, amen, with some of these brothers uh, that have come against me, praise God, and others like me that take the position that 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 the bread is his body. The 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 wine is his blood. Amen. Because if you go and look at Exodus chapter uh, 12 and 13 and 14, before they came out, God said, get a lamb for the house. And and God instructs them, he, he, he instructs Moses to tell the people exactly how to cook it, mm -hmm. how to prepare it. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, why did God do that? Because there was a particular way that God wanted them to prepare it because it was not ordinary. It was not ordinary. Y'all, this is when we come here, this ain't ordinary. And there's a certain way we prepare it. Amen. Amen. To get the certain benefits that's in it to pull it out. Yeah. You've got to yeah. prepare it That's a certain it. way. Wait, come on. And God did. Now, 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 I'm pretty sure somebody back in the day, back during that time, probably questioned Moses. Why we got to cook it that way? Why we got to eat it that way? Why we got to prepare it that way? I'm pretty sure somebody oh, yeah. of brown skin yeah. had a question concerning why we got to, why do it take all that? Don't we do that? To prepare this meal. Wow. <laughs> See, God was trying to, not only was God showing them something, but God was trying to get them somewhere. Yes, he uh, was. was. Yes, he was. Yes. See, yes, because he was. one day, now, yeah. now, hey, my God, God, my God had to deal with them, mm. amen, deal with some spiritual things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, there was a lot of demonic things around Pharaoh, around right. Egypt, oh, with all those gods that they had, and all, all of those idols that they had. Mm. Now, now, if you just, I just read in 1 Corinthians 10, mm -hmm. where Paul said, flee from idolatry. Flee. Mm -hmm. He said, flee from it. Then he went right into the community. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's right. Amen. And so, there are some things spiritually, spiritually that are connected. Uh -huh. That has to be dealt with, Jeez. and so that's why we have to be uh, be very, very, very careful how it's prepared. Jesus, it just can't be yeah. prepared any kind of way. It cannot be approached any kind of way. That's why we have to discern. There again, that's why over in chapter eleven, First Corinthians, Paul said, "So many lack discernment." When it comes, when it, amen, when it comes to the Lord's table mm -hmm. or Holy Communion, mm -hmm. uh, many lack discernment. Mm -hmm. amen? amen. And so we have to understand that 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 uh, we cannot take for granted that oh, it's just it's just bread, it's mm -hmm. just it's just grape juice, Jesus. amen. Jesus. But no, it has deeper spiritual yes, connections and significance to it. Amen. 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 And so, and, and so, we have to recognize, uh, Hallelujah. As I said, I take the position of the sacramental view. When I come to this table, when I come to this table, Hallelujah. Jesus. That I don't, I don't come, praise God, just looking at the bread. I look beyond it. I look beyond it. Amen. Yes, now, now I want you to I want you to go uh, go with me over to uh, Matthew twenty six again. 
key because when we talk about the consecration of the elements, the elements is the body and the blood. That's the element of the table. The bread, now when, 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 when we prepare the communion, uh, the, the body or the bread is called the host. The host. H-O-S-T. The host. It's the host. And when the cup, when those two elements are consecrated, then we talked about this last week. I asked a question, uh, when does it become the body? When does it become the blood? And we say it, it becomes that after it's been consecrated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. After it's been consecrated, it, it, it's, it becomes the blood, it becomes the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, in St. Matthew 26, if we look at this, what Jesus says again, and, and I know I keep going back to the scripture, but I want us to make a connection here to what Christ is saying. Now, Christ is talking here. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and we believe in what Christ says, right? Amen. 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 We, don't, we don't think that he's just making something up. But we take him at his word. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, in Matthew 26 and 26, it says, And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, and he blessed it and broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, said, take, eat, this is my body. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He, he didn't say, take, eat, this is bread. Mm -mm. They knew it was bread. Come yeah. on. They could yeah. see it, it was, was bread. bread. Come on. Yeah. Amen. They've been eating bread all night. Uh -huh. <laughs> but, but what Jesus wanted them wow. to see on another my level. My God, my God. Amen. He wanted to see on another level. Now, notice what he did here. And Jesus took bread and he did what? Blessed Bless it. it. And he break it. Isn't that, amen, isn't that what we do at the table? Yes. Uh, we take it, we bless break it, it, and we bless it. Bless it. Is that right? Amen. And so Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is not changing from the way he was taught and the way the priest would do it. And he blessed it and break it, and he gave it to the disciples. Mm -hmm. That when he gave, now in the Holy Communion, there are five parts when, the, uh, when it comes to Holy Communion. And one of them we talked about uh, last week, and uh, that when you pray over it, that's called the absolution. Excuse me. No, I back up. The absolution is when we pray and ask God to forgive us, to make us worthy to partake of so we ask God to forgive us, and then uh, there is the prayer of consecration. That's when we pray over the over the bread and we pray over the wine, hallelujah, to where it becomes the body and the blood of Christ, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And then, hallelujah, there is the distribution. The distribution of it is when he gave it to his disciples, and he said, take, eat, this is my body. He took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, said, drink ye all of it. Mm -hmm. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. And so we see here that Jesus speaks of the fact that something takes place after the consecration of the elements. Now, I want to, I want to show you another example of this, let's go to Matthew chapter 14. Something happens after the blessing of the body. Jesus gives us an example of, of, of that. Now, some may not make the connection, but I want to see that Jesus, Jesus gives us the example here that 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 as it relates to as it relates to the Holy Communion. It means nothing if it's not blessed. Mm. All right. Amen. 
you just eating crackers and juice. If it's not blessed, if it's not blessed, amen. There's no, there's no spiritual back value to it. There is no redemption. There is no, amen. There is no, uh, no remission of sin. There is no healing in it. It's just bread and wine. If it's not blessed, amen. God, 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 uh, can't work through it until after his place. Now, look at Matthew 14. Amen. In Matthew 14, I want you to, I want you to look at this. Hallelujah. And, uh, and, uh, and I want you to look at verse 15, Matthew 14, 15. Amen. Y'all know the story. He said, when it was evening, his disciples came to him and said, Lord, uh, this is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send all the folk home, that they may go in the village and buy themselves vigils. But Jesus said unto them, Take heed, uh, excuse me, they need not depart. Give ye them to eat. And they said unto him, We have but five loaves and two fish. And he said, Bring them hither to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fish and looking up to heaven. Y'all see that? And looking up to heaven, he did what? He blessed. And did what? And did what? And gave the loaves. Okay, distribution. So he blessed it and break it and distribute it. Okay, mm. and in that process, God moved it. Mm. Yes, He did. He yeah. took how many fish? Two. Huh? Two. two. Fish. How many loaves? Five. Five loaves. How many did He feed? Five. Five. Huh? Five. Amen. Five. And, and and they took up twelve baskets yeah. of leftovers. Uh -huh. One for each disciple. Yes. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. Amen. Amen. But but but. Before it was blessed, it was just two fish. That's all it was. And five loaves. That's all. That wouldn't have fed two or three folks. That wouldn't have fed us, right, Sydney? <laughs> Come on. Because I would have got one fish <laughs> and two loaves of bread and made me a sandwich. <laughs> I like it. Come on now. That wouldn't have fed us, would it, Brother Dunn? I would have been hungry. Amen. <laughs> Somebody would have been left out. That's right. So what I'm saying. Amen. And so... Before he blessed it and break it and gave it, all they had was two fish and five. That's all. That's all. Before it's there. dead, before it's blessed, all it is is bread and juice. That's all it is. Yes, Lord. Come That's on all now. It is. But once it's consecrated, come on. Once the elements have yes. been blessed, yeah, in that order. Hallelujah. Then it, it, then it takes yes. on a whole nother meaning, meaning yes. and form. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then it is distributed. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. For the blessing of the people. Amen. amen. And amen. part, amen, and part of uh, part of the celebration is that that once the body and the and and the blood has been consecrated and blessed and distributed, amen, it becomes the gifts of God. Mm -hmm. It becomes the gifts of God to the people of God. Amen. It becomes the body and the blood of Christ. Amen. 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 And so we have to deserve that. Thank you, Jesus. We have to deserve that. Amen. Because, because y'all, on any given day, any given day, praise God. And if you just want a quick snack, praise God, you can get you some crackers and get you get you some juice. And you eat it and, and don't think nothing of it, do you? Don't think nothing of it. But when it comes to this table and it's blessed oh, thank you. It, it's, it's consecrated it's dedicated mm. then it takes on a whole nother whole nother level of yes. understanding and appreciation and value amen hallelujah and so we have, to, we have to understand that praise God that the bread becomes the body yes. amen and the, and the wine becomes the blood of Christ so there has to be the element of consecration there. It has to be consecrated. 
Because if you go over, amen, you go over to the book of Exodus again, when God instructed Moses to, to uh, for, for every house to get a lamb, and if it's, if it's, if it's not uh, but a few folk and you got a good size lamb, well then two houses can come together and partake of that lamb. Amen? Amen. And so, and he, he tells them how to prepare, how to prepare that lamb. He tells them how, praise God, to, 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 uh, he said, don't boil it. Don't boil it. Mm -hmm. Don't fry it. Mm -hmm. But he said, roast it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Roast it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And he said, roast it. Amen. With the head on and, and the arms and the, and the limbs connected. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's another symbol of Christ. Hallelujah. Now, 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 Paul says to the church at Corinth, he tells them that you've got to catch this to where you discern it, to where you begin to place a value on it. Amen. You place a value on it to where it's just more than just a custom. It's more than just a man, just a ritual. But it takes on uh, a spiritual meaning that not only uh, blesses my physical man through healing. Mm -hmm. See, see, there is completeness on this table. Mm -hmm. Everything we need is on this table. Mm -hmm. It comes through these sacred and consecrated elements. The body and the blood. Mm -hmm. Everything we need is on this table. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. 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 It, it's, it's in the cup. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's in the body. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Healing is in the body. Yes. Yes. Uh, cleansing and redemption yes. is in the blood. The blood. Yes. Amen. Is that? Oh, Amen. Oh, uh, matter of fact, y'all, the Bible said, uh, uh, that there is life in the blood. Yes, hallelujah. Is that right? Yes, hallelujah. There's healing in his body. Yes, hallelujah. And so if, if, yes. if you, but Thank you'll never you catch it if Thank you don't you deserve it. Thank if you, you just see wafer and, and juice, Thank you'll you never God. catch it. You'll never discern, amen, the fullness of it. Now, you may have an appreciation for what Christ done. Amen. Thank Hallelujah. You. A lot of folk got the appreciation of what Christ done, mm -hmm. but they ain't getting the benefits from it. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, Jesus died for the sin of the world, didn't he? Yes. Huh? Yes. But will the whole world be saved? No. 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 Because they don't, amen, they don't appreciate no. what he's done. Yes. My God, my God. Hallelujah. My God. I appreciate God. him for what he does. Oh, thank you. When I partake of, that, of, of, of his body yes. Yes. Jesus. and his blood, Jesus. my God, yeah, get I appreciate God. that. Yes, God. I take it not for granted. Yes, God. Is that right? Yes. Amen. And so there must be the discernment of the three components or the three elements three, uh, of the components. Amen. There has to be the discernment of the consecration of the elements. The elements are, amen, is the blood and the body. Those are the elements. Now, the candlesticks and, and the cross and the other, other basins, amen, the lavabo and all of that, all of those other things, amen, they are, amen, they are ornaments, that have a connection to the table, praise God, but the elements that are consecrated is the, the bread and the wine. They are consecrated to where they, they become the body and the blood yeah. of Christ. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. So there must be the discernment 
of the consecration of the elements. If there is no consecration of the elements, amen, we just passing crackers and juice. <laughs> That's all we're doing. All we're doing. Amen? Hallelujah. And I understand, I understand, praise God, that that uh, there is, there is uh, uh, the position that a lot of people hold uh, that it, it is, it is, it is, uh, it is just something that we do because we've been commanded to do, but we have to go deeper than that. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You know, because all of us, if we tell the truth, <laughs> growing up, we were commanded to do something at the house, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you like every command? Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Did you appreciate every command? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Just had to do it. Did you see the benefits no, of all I the did commands? No, I did not. Did yes. you get tired of the commands? No, I did. Tell the truth. I but did. you did them, didn't you? I sure Amen. did. For the most part. I Amen. did. Some were a little harder hit than the others. No, I did. I was saying it in my life. I did it. And so a lot of people say, well, I do it because we are commanded to do it. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 that's 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 religious. Mm. That's that's uh, that's uh, mm -hmm. that's legalism. Mm. To where I just do it just because I'm told to I'm do told it. You. But I've got to I've got to embrace this thing. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes. Not just uh, thank God. Yes, He does command us to do it. But I've got to have a a, a, a deeper. Discernment in this. Yes, hallelujah. Open up hallelujah. your heart. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. You know, because in our household, it, it was so many of us that that every one of us had a night to wash dishes. Thank you. Thank you. And then if it was a whole lot of them, uh, they they uh, they commanded two of us. <laughs> yep. One wash. Wonder. Now this was pre dishwasher. <laughs> Thank you. That was pre dishwasher. All these fancy appliances. We were the dishwasher. Uh, yes. There you go. We got this pan hand. There you go. <laughs> Come on. And, 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 and so, and so they commanded us to wash dishes. Yeah. One wash, one dry. Yeah. And then it was a whole lot of them. We had a third one. One put up. <laughs> Y'all may not have had oh, Come on now. It was an assembly line. <laughs> yes, yes. We had yes. an assembly Wash pad, wash out. Oh, Amen. And, 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 so, and so we did that. Yes. We did that. Why, why did we do that? Well, we was commanded to do it. We didn't like doing it. No. <laughs> but we didn't like eating on dirty dishes either sure the did. next morning. Sure it did not. Hello, Amen. Sure did not. And so, <laughs> and so you, uh, you, you learn to appreciate eating on clean dishes. Yes. Huh. Amen. And, 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 and so, over a period of time, you may start off going through the motions. Uh -huh. But eventually, yes, Lord, yes, you catch on. Something ought to hit. Yeah. Oh, mm. thank you. Jesus. Something ought to quicken in your yes. spirit. Yes. That takes you beyond just bread and juice. Come on, yes. come on now. Yes. Come on. Yes. Yes. No? That's right. Yes. I see something ah. greater yes. in yes. this it is. than just bread and juice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Because, Hallelujah. amen, why? Uh, because something is happening in my body yes. and in my shame. It's about to come. Mm -hmm. Thank amen. God. Thank Hallelujah. You. Something finna change. It's finna turn around. Come on. <laughs> if, 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 if not, if, if, if I don't go to that level of understanding, mm. appreciation, and discernment, it is, it is what it is. It is. Mm. A, <laughs> table of, a table of crackers and juice. Yeah, loaf of bread. Amen. Uh, Amen. Uh, yes, or just, or just, or just a loaf of bread in it. which uh, the Orthodox Church, Amen. They don't use the the crackers 
or the wafer that we use, amen, they use a loaf of bread. And it is specially baked to where they cut a square section out of the middle of it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's made where there, there is a cross cut. So when it's baked, it has a cross in it. They cut that section out. That section is consecrated mm -hmm. to where it becomes the body. And then the other part of the bread is not wasted. It's called the blessed bread. Mm -hmm. That's given to everybody afterwards. Now in the Orthodox Church, everybody can't take Holy Communion mm -hmm. unless you're Orthodox. If you are a, a, a if you are non-Orthodox, you can partake of the blessed bread after the service and they break it off and pass it to everybody. But you cannot partake of the Holy Communion. That's just for Orthodox people. And what they do, this cup here, their cup is 10 times this size. They would put the bread in the wine. Mm -hmm. They have a special spoon, I forget the name of it, it's about this long, it's brass, and they would take they would take this big cup and get the spoon. They would spoon out some of the wine and the bread and they would put it in your mouth or on your tongue. That's how the Orthodox does it. Mm -hmm. They still do that today. Mm -hmm. But the leftover bread is called the blessed bread. Mm -hmm. It's not consecrated. It's blessed. Everybody can partake of that, whether you are Orthodox or not. Amen. And so you, you find a whole bunch of different variations, but yet a lot of similarities. Amen. But the thing that we have in common is the consecration mm -hmm. of the elements. That's across the church, uh, across the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, now let's talk about here. I'm, I'm not going to be able to get to all of this, but let's talk about the adoration or the adorning of the of the sacraments. Amen. The adorning of the sacraments. And what I want to talk about here, I want to talk about the body, the body of Christ. What happens to the body? Amen. Now, when we talk about the body, the body has to be presented a certain way. The body has to be presented a certain way. Uh, even if we look at the example oh, back again in Exodus where God told Moses to tell him to take a lamp on the house, that body had to be prepared a certain way, didn't it? Mm -hmm. he, he, he tells them how to roast it. He tells them what to roast it with. He tells them how to lay it out. He tells them to keep the head on. He tells them even how to deal with the inward parts of that lamp. And he tells them even how to discard it. He says, after you've eaten the meal and everybody has had their portion and everybody is full, he said, waste nothing. If you have leftovers, he said, just don't put it in the trash. He says, take it out and burn it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Take it out and burn it. Well, the same way is when we take uh, partake of communion here. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is just loosely discarded. But there is a proper way to deal with the blood and the wine. For the most part, if there's any cup left over, amen, the celebrant, they will drink it all. If there's any bread left over, they will eat it all. Amen? Hallelujah. And so there is a way that the body has to be presented. Now, <clears throat> go over to St. John chapter 20. And we're going to look at uh, uh, Jesus here because Jesus, his own body, tells us or gives us a description concerning how his body was presented, I believe, or it gives us some indication concerning the presentation of his body. 
because it is a direct correlation with how we present this table. Amen. Even if you go back over to Exodus 25, Exodus 19, where God gives Moses the pattern how to set up the temple, he gives them he gives them what Aaron and his sons should wear. He gives he gives them all of that, and we and we discovered and we share with you that he get that straight out of heaven. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Straight from heaven. God said, "Build it after the pattern that I've showed you up on the mountain." Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Uh, and we began to share with you that over in the book of Revelation, the book of Hebrews, it talks about, praise God, that there is a temple in heaven. Yeah. There are priests in heaven. That, yeah. that they may, uh, there are censers in heaven where, amen, where the censer, the fragrance of the censer, or the incense of the censer is mixed with the prayers of the saints. And they go before God. Now, in St. John chapter 20, I want us to look at this right quick. St. John chapter 20. And uh, let's, let, let's start at verse 1. St. John 20. It said, The first day of the week come at Mary Magdalene early when it was yet dark unto the, unto the sepulcher, and see the stone taken away from the sepulcher. Then she runneth and cometh uh, to Simon Peter and the two other and, and, and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved and said unto him, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth and the other disciple that came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other disciple did not outrun Peter and came first to the sepulchre. And he stooping down and looking in saw the linen cloth lying, yet <clears throat> went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter following him and went into the sepulchre and seeth the linen cloths lie, and the napkin that was about his head not lying with the linen cloth but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went into all the other uh, disciples, excuse me, that other disciple which came first to the sepulchre and he saw and believed. And so as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Amen. Let's stop right there. So we see here in, in some of the presentation of the body of Christ, we see here that in verse 5 it tells us that there were linen cloths. Is that right? There were linen cloths. And then it says that there was, in verse 7, there was a napkin that was about his head not lined with the other cloths, but wrapped together in a place by itself. So we see here that Jesus' body just wasn't thrown in, in the tomb, was it? Amen. Somebody took the time to prepare his body. Is that right? Amen. So when we come to the Holy Communion table, praise God, someone takes the time to prepare the body. It's just not presented any kind of way. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, now the historian said that during that time, uh, not only the body of Jesus, but for the most part, amen, most, most Jewish bodies, and they still do this a lot today, amen, is the fact that uh, first of all, before burial, the body is washed. It is washed from head to toe. Amen. The body is washed, and, and then it, it, amen. It is it is uh, it is washed, and then not only washed, amen, but it is it is uh, uh, every every limb is wrapped individually with linen. Hallelujah. It's wrapped with linen, and then and then praise God, and then there is a there is an overall wrap called a shroud. It covers the whole body. Amen. You remember uh, when Jesus was told that the one whom he loved is dead and he goes to the graveside of Lazarus and Jesus called Lazarus forth and then Jesus 
tell the people, roll the stone away. And then he said, Lazarus come forth. Lazarus came forth, but Lazarus was still in his grave shroud. Is that right? Because Jesus said, loose him. He was still wrapped up. So Jesus' body was wrapped up in a shroud. Hallelujah. And what happens is that in the pre uh, presentation of Jesus' body, they, they perfume his body. Uh, and uh, the reason why they do that, amen, they use myrrh, they use incense to slow down the decay of the body because of the rottening of the flesh. Now, during that time and still today, in a lot of Eastern countries, they will wrap the body, but they, uh, especially Jewish uh, people, they do not, and they prefer not, to embalm. They do not embalm the body. They leave the body intact. Mm -hmm. and, and I said last week, and the body has to be buried, for the most part, within 24 hours. And they do not embalm, but they heavily lay the body with uh, spices. Uh, some say about 70, 75 pounds of spices is used to, to prep that body for the grave. <clears throat> and once it's put in the grave, hallelujah, and in Jesus' case, a few days later, Mary and some other women they came to do it again. If you remember that, they came to spice his body again. But he was gone. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And they come to spice his body. Amen. But he was gone. And so uh, uh, they do not embalm. And, and, and uh, they failed to do that. And uh, because embalming came from the Egyptians. They embalmed. Mm -hmm. The Egyptians... Praise God, uh, especially when somebody of royalty or nobility die, they will remove their organs mm -hmm. and place them in their own separate little uh, jar. Mm -hmm. And they would keep them separately because they believe that once that person is reincarnate, they're going to need those parts back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, but the Hebrew people do not believe in embalming. They use spices. And what they will do, they will keep the body in the tomb, laid on a slab for one year. For one year. They will come back after that year and check the body. If it's all bones, they'll take, they'll gather those bones up and put those bones in what's called an ossuary. It's a little box by yay long, yay big. They will put those bones in that box, and then they will lay those bones in a catacomb for their final resting place. That's what they would do. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, so, so there was a lot that went through that they took that body through. There was a certain way that they presented it. Well, there's a certain way that we present this body. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm. Now, now, uh, Minister Osley, she's, uh, she and, and Lady Hill, uh, they prepare the table. Well, a lot of things go on behind the scenes before it comes out here. Is that right? Amen. And while they're doing it, amen, they're saying a prayer. You know what I'm saying? They're saying a prayer, and they're putting all of the elements together, all of the ornaments together. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're putting it in, amen, in their proper place. Uh, they're dressing the table, amen, with the proper garments. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, and, uh, Lord. and we'll go over that if we have time with each of those little cloths represent and their purposes. And so they're doing that all back there. And they're storing the items back there, mm -hmm. amen, in a special case that they have. Mm -hmm. And they're keeping them, praise God. 
If they need to be washed, they'll wash them. If they need to be pressed, they'll press them. Amen. So there is a presentation that goes on with Holy Communion. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so we talked about that, you know, uh, last week, you know, uh, uh, about our grandparents. Mm -hmm. Amen. The mothers of the church who had to make the uh, the communion bread, who, That's right. who took the uh, uh, the cloths home and washed them and starched them and mm -hmm. pressed them, all of that, mm -hmm. part of the presentation. Amen. Amen. And so, and so, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the communion table, there is a presentation that goes in that. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, now go with me. Uh, let me hear you on here. Amen. Go to St. John chapter 6. I want you to go to St. John chapter 6. I want you to see this. Hallelujah. St. John chapter 6. Jesus is very adamant about his body and his blood. And he tells the disciples that uh, you've got to understand that this table... <clears throat> involves a fellowship. It involves a covenant. Mm -hmm. Now in St. John chapter 6, and I want you to look at uh, verse 48. St. John chapter 6 and verse 48. Jesus says this. He said, I am that bread of life. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Mm -hmm. Point blank. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, yes. that a man may eat thereof and not die. My God. Come on. Mm. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Y'all, we can eat crackers and juice and die. Come on. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. I am the living bread. Mm. Which cometh down, verse 51, yes, God. that cometh down from heaven. Mm. If any man eat of this bread, mm. he shall live forever. Mm. And the bread that I will give is my flesh. Y'all see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Mm. The Jews, therefore, strong among the, excuse me, strove among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Mm. See, that's what a lot of people yeah. have the same position. Well, how can this become the body of Christ? Mm -hmm. Not discerning. They didn't deserve what he was talking about. Nope. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink, you know, a lot of folks say, well, he's speaking you know, he, 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 he's, he's not speaking literal. No. You know, metaphorically, he's, he's, he's not speaking literally about eating his flesh and drinking his blood. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood have I have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Hallelujah. And the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father. Uh -huh. So he that eateth me, even he shall live uh -huh. by me. Amen. Verse 13. Verse 58, this is that bread which came down from heaven, and your fathers did eat manna and are dead. Mm, come on. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Mm, he Amen. Tell you. And so, and so we, Jesus. Jesus, see, you know, a lot of times when we read scripture, we don't go no further than the surface. Come on. But we got to go deep. deep we got to read see. between the lines. Jesus. And sometimes, amen, if I can give you some advice, sometimes it, 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 it pays to do word studies. I mean, take one word and break it all the way down. Break it all the way down. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I saw a little video on TikTok one time. Amen. Somebody gave a little baby 
uh, a piece of chicken for the first time. Yeah. And he grabbed that drumstick. I mean, he ate it all down to the bone. He ate gristle at all. I mean, he was eating it hard. <laughs> he ate it all the way down. In other words, he got all that he could get from it. Jesus. Amen. <laughs> he got all of it. Amen. Well, God wants us to get all of it. Christ wants us to get all of the benefit from this day. Not just walk away, you know, and 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 the and the, and the, and the cracker and juice made you hungry. <laughs> no. I want, I want all of the benefits that come from oh, this table. And so Jesus said, amen, if you're going to be, be a, a partaker of me and with me, mm. praise God, you got to partake of my body and of my blood. Amen. Amen. you got to, you got to, amen, you got to discern, amen, deeper, deeper. Praise God. Hallelujah. See, because Jesus said this. He said, Many shall say, Lord, Lord. Mm -hmm. Then we do this. Then we do that. But he going to say, depart. I never knew you. Amen. In other words, there was no relationship. There was no mm -hmm. fellowship. This table brings us into fellowship and covenant with Christ. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, now, let me give you one last scripture. Go over to uh, St. John chapter 13. And I want you to see this here because... Uh, Jesus says something to Peter. See, because Holy Communion, y'all, it keeps us in right fellowship with Christ. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. St. John chapter 13, and uh, Jesus says this in St. John 13. He's, he's, he's getting ready, he's preparing himself for the cross. He says this in St. John 13, and he, he says this, uh, after, look at verse 4, he rises from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, does thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said, What I do, thou knowest not now. In other words, you don't understand the significance of what I'm getting ready to do. But thou shalt know hereafter. Yeah. You get it. You'll get it. My God. Amen. I see, see Jesus see. applied the same word as that when, when that mother came and said, Jesus, when you get into your kingdom, let one on the right, one on the left. And he said, Are they able to drink from the cup that I'm I gotta drink from? Mm. And then he said, They will. <laughs> they will. They'll see it later. Peter will see this later. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And he said here, Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou have no part with me. That's what he said. Mm. Amen. Said Simon that. said unto him, Lord, not wash my feet only, but also my hand and my head. Wash everything. And get behind my ears. Don't, don't leave nothing because I'm a fifth grade. Amen. Come on up. Come on up. He said, oh, wait a minute, Lord. I think, wait a minute. You get ready to kick me out? No, I, I, can't, I can't go back. He said, wash me. Amen. Amen. What does he say? He said, he says this. And Jesus said unto him, he that is washed needed not, uh, not saved to wash his feet, but is clean every whit, and ye are clean, but not all. There again, he began to make a reference to Judas. Jesus. He's talking about fellowship. He's talking about covenant. 
It's talking about cover. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to transition. I'm getting ready to go to the cross. Yep. I'm washing. I'm washing you. Now, this is after the supper. He said, I'm washing you to signify the covenant and the fellowship that we have. Hallelujah. And so when we come to this table, it's about covenant. It's about fellowship. That's why Paul was so adamant about deserting the Lord's body. That's why Paul was so adamant about getting it together before you come to this table, that you may be in right fellowship with Christ. Hallelujah. And that's why we have to properly discern what the elements are. We have to discern the presentation of the body. And the last but not least, we also have to discern the consumption of the reliquary. The reliquary is simply the body and the blood together. We have to discern when we consume it. Just as we said last week, there's a level of faith involved that when I consume the body and the blood, there's a level of faith involved that once I consume it, something happens. A transference takes place. Just as we mentioned last week about the woman with the issue of blood, when she touched his garment, yeah. there was a level of faith in her that said, I shall be made whole. Is that right? That's right. She saw something, yeah. and she said it within herself yes, by faith, yes, yes. and she acted upon it, yes. and something right. happened. Jesus said, who touched me? Who touched me? Amen? So the consumption of the reliquary, the, the consumption of the body and the blood, hallelujah, I have to receive it by faith. If not, there is nothing there of any great substance other than the taste of juice and the taste of bread. But there has to be something that's farther and deeper than just bread and wine. Praise God. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. And so, and so as we wrap this up, as our time is gone, as we wrap this up tonight, I want us to understand, praise God, that, uh, that there is a proper way that we approach the table. There is a proper way that how we address the components of the table, the consecration of the elements, the adoration of the sacraments, and the consumption of the reliquy. Hallelujah. All of that finds its place from the very beginning in the book of Exodus, even to today. Hallelujah. There has to be the, the sacredness. There has to be the reverence. There has to be the consecration of the holy table. If, if not, then it is just something that we do because it's just part of church. Mm. Hallelujah. But it, it is. Amen. It is greater than that. It oh, is yeah. something that we have to fully embrace yeah. to get the full benefits from it. Amen? Amen. Thank you for your time. My time is up. I thank you for your time tonight. We give God praise on tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. And we honor the Lord for you that are here tonight. Those that are watching, if you have any comments, any questions, is there any questions tonight? Any questions for us tonight? Praise God. Do we have any prayer concerns tonight? Those that are watching, please leave your prayer concerns. We will capture them, and we will definitely call their name out tonight before the Lord. Any prayer concerns tonight? Praise God. I want to, I want to pray for uh, uh, Harriet Ellis. Yeah. Harriet Ellis. Praise God. Lady Hill's cousin, Harriet. Yes, yes, yes. Ellis tonight, pray for restoration. Yes, Lord. Praise God.
God. Anyone else tonight? The Tally family. Tally. Amen. Praise God. That be it. Let's stand tonight so we can pray for these families and we will release you for tonight. <clears throat> Praise God. We're going to finish this up next week tonight. We're going to finish this story up, or excuse me, this lesson up tonight as we, as we begin to get ready for the new year. Praise God. I'm excited about what the Lord has prepared for us yes. for the coming year. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. We Amen. thank you for these that have gathered tonight. I pray, oh God, that we will have a level of discernment as relates to the Holy Communion and the body and the blood of Christ. And so, Father, we thank you for healing tonight. We thank you for restoration. I pray that over Harriet tonight. I pray, oh God, that you will continue to strengthen her. I pray, oh God, that you begin to just raise her up, oh God. Restore yes. speech, restore, restore mobility, yes. restore, oh God, hallelujah, reasoning yes. and logic to yes. its full capacity oh, yes. in the name of Jesus, yes. God. Yes. And so I cover her under the blood yes. of Jesus Christ tonight. And Father, we thank you for her. Yes. We thank you, oh God, that you have kept her. You, you are bringing her through this, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You've given her a testimony of great victory. And I thank you for that tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for the Tally family. We continue to cover them in prayer tonight. We continue to lift them up, oh God, during their time right now. I pray, oh God, that you would show yourself strong on their behalf. In the name of Jesus, yes. oh God. Lord, comfort hearts. Yes. Heal the wounds, oh God. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Name God, of bring Jesus. peace to their mind. Yes. In the name of Jesus, yes. God. I say rest. Let yes. them rest in the Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Name and so, Father, we thank you. I pray for these that have gathered tonight. Honor their faithfulness in coming tonight. Honor those that are watching tonight. Those that are viewing, oh God, bless them, oh God, mightily. Show yes. yourself strong oh, in their lives. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. Thank and you. we thank you for them, thank God. You. And we cover them in prayer. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father, bless us as we leave this place. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. 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 God bless you tonight. Bless you. Amen. 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 Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. God bless you, Dee. Keep on praying. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Only you is always talking about it. Oh, my God.